So now that you've had a chance to think about how and why we set up our experiment the way we did, let's take a look at how you can help us collect data to see which mulch treatment has the most plant growth and which has the highest soil moisture. You'll be able to join me virtually in the park to help with this. So first, when we collect data, there are six different types of things that will need your help in collecting and recording. Whenever we start to collect data in a new plot, we wanna figure out where we are. This stake here has a number on it to tell us which plot out of all 10 that we're in. This stake says we're in plot two. Next, we wanna check which mulch treatment we're in. So I'll just check what's on the ground. And I can see here that we have straw-like mulch on the ground. All right, to answer our research question about soil moisture, we can use this tool called a soil moisture meter. So these probes just stick in the ground and then this uh, sensor will tell us how much of the soil is water compared to dirt and air. So in each of our mulch plots, we're gonna take four soil moisture readings in the middle of our planted seedlings. So I'll measure one right here. So I'll stick the probes fully in the ground and then press the on button to turn it on. And then I'll press the middle button that says read OK. Always takes a second to get a reading. And then the very first big number on here is the percent volumetric water content or percent VWC. And that's what you're going to write down on your data sheets. All right, to answer our research question about plant growth, we can measure our seedlings with a measuring tape. So we first measured them when we planted them as little tiny seedlings. So we know how big they were when we first planted them. And now we can measure them again and see how much they've grown. So to use our measuring tape, it has inches on one side and centimeters on the other. We always wanna make sure we're measuring in centimeters. And you also wanna make sure you're starting at zero and not all the way at 150 at the other end here. And we're gonna just measure the height. So from the very bottom and stretch it up to the very highest point. So that looks like 36 centimeters. So you'll record that number on your data sheet. All right. So when we do find a seedling, we want to first write down what its condition is and what species it is. So we planted two different types of seedlings in this plot, monkey flower and coastal golden bush. This one, it's a little hard to tell because it's kind of dead right now, but it's a monkey flower. And then this here is a coastal golden bush. So you can use a field guide to identify which species it is. If it's a little hard to tell like this one here, you can always write down that you're unsure. That's okay too. We can try to figure that out. The next thing we wanna do is write down its condition or if it's alive, dead, or missing. So if it's alive, it just means it has some kind of green on it. So I'm looking here and it looks all brown. So I would actually write down that this one is dead. This plant here though has plenty of green. So I would write down that it's alive. If it's a picture and you don't see any seedling in it that we're measuring it, that would mean that it is missing. Maybe it got eaten or didn't survive and crumbled away. 